What's up, guys? It's Colby here to give you the top performers from tonight's rivalry matchup between Leesville Road and Millbrook. To start with, Leesville Road's Jalen McDonald finished the game with 17 points, six rebounds. We all know he's a spectacular highlight reel waiting to happen. Um, he, he did an outstanding job of really attacking the basket, finishing strong uh, at the rim. Not only that, he knocked down three three-pointers tonight, uh, knocked, them off, uh, knocked them down both off the catch and off the dribble. Uh, he had one where he came off the ball screen, stopped, defender went under, and he drilled it. I uh, look for him to continue to do more stuff like this as the season progresses. On to Millbrook, we had two co-MVPs of tonight's game. First off, we have uh, Louisville signee, Eric Vanderheide. The 6'9 guard uh, knocked down six three-pointers. Uh, he finished the game with 29 points, 12 rebounds, and four blocks. Uh, he was spectacular on both ends of the court. You know, as I said, he had four blocks. I mean, he's blocking shots, he's rebounding the basketball, uh, and he, he just provides so much versatility on the offense. And he's able to put it on the deck, create shots, um, he does a really good job of scoring, uh, whether it's off the catch or attacking off the bounce. He can get to the mid range, he can shoot three, and finish all the way at the basket. Uh, really expect him to have an awesome senior year and going to have a great career at Louisville. Also, we have 2022 uh, junior guard Silas Demery Jr. You know, Silas last year came off the bench, played a little bit of limited minutes, um, but this year he's really having a breakout year. He finished the game with 27 points seven rebounds, three assists, three steals. I really expect his uh, recruitment to really pick up here this year. Uh, what Silas does extremely well is he really, uh, you know, he defends for one, uh, but as a guard at 6'4", he rebounds the basketball. When he rebounds that ball as a point guard, he's pushing it. And he puts a lot of pressure on the defense to get back. And he does a great job of attacking the rim, uh, finishing strong and drawing fouls. He went to the line tonight, knocked down 10 free throws. Uh, he's really consistent at the line, shoots that ball at a, a high rate at the free throw line. Not only that, he's able to drive, he's able to dribble penetrate, he gets into the paint, you know, whether he's scoring for himself or he's kicking out to teammates for open jumpers. Uh, but also he's able to create for himself. He, he was able to knock down the uh, three point jumper. He's also really good at getting to the mid range and knocking down that mid range pull up jumper. You know, I expect him to have a great year this year. And, you know, one can only expect that Millbrook has a chance to be in that state championship game again this season. 